basically once you reach a bantam level, so 13 and up, uh, checking starts. And that's great. That's all well and good, unless for people like me who've had multiple head trauma issues, like uh, concussions for me. Imagine falling in love with a game and then being told you aren't allowed to play anymore. The rate of concussions in a checking youth program is almost 400% higher than non-checking leagues. And as a result of brain injury, young athletes are being forced out of hockey in America. My mom said, you, you might not be able to play at Bantam. And that kind of hit me, because I love this game, so I want to keep playing. Why would you force a kid at age 13 to retire from a sport when there's an option? So I started thinking it was going to be really horrible when we have to tell him to hang up his skates because checking is going to begin at age 13 and he won't be eligible to play. So then I started thinking, well, maybe there's a no checking option out there. Canadian leagues for teenagers offer a no check option, but no such option currently exists in the United States. So this dedicated hockey mom reached out to a league's founder in Ontario. He was a bit of an inspiration for me. I started thinking, if that works for kids in Canada, why not down here? You need it for the kids who've had concussions, but I think a bigger need is for the kids who want to continue to work on their skills, uh, the kids who are not physically as big and they still haven't hit their growth spurt yet. With Nicole's help, a no-check hockey league is taking shape with sights set on a fall debut. The New England no-check hockey program will allow a hockey future for players like Brennan. I don't know what I'd do without it. Uh, it's just really fun to play. It's something to escape, you know, everyday life.